Hey guys, welcome back to Rootset and in this video, I'll be showing you how to make a long range remote controller for your robot. If you're stuck somewhere, feel free to comment your doubts below and I'll try my best to clear it. Before we jump into this video, this month's giveaway will be these PCBs that I designed to make remote controllers for my robot. These remote controllers have joysticks, buttons, accelerometers and pins to connect other analog sensors. I'll be giving this to my supporters and subscribers for free. To enter is simple. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel and comment which is your most favorite wireless module you use for your project. Let's get started. For easy understanding, we will divide our remote controller into three parts. The input unit, processing unit, the transmitter. Input is the unit using which the remote controller gets the data from the user. For example, joystick, accelerometer, buttons, potentiometers, etc. For this project, we will be using accelerometer and joystick. This is one of the most widely used analog joystick modules which is designed to work with Arduino. It has two analog potentiometers, one to detect the vertical motion of the joystick and the other to detect horizontal movement of the joystick. The processor is the part that reads the data from the input unit, process or condition them for the transmitting unit to send. Here, we will be using Arduino Nano to process the inputs. The transmitter is the part that sends the data from the remote controller to the robot's receiving unit wirelessly. For our project, we will be using HC12 wireless module. Now about HC12 module. This is one of the most widely used wireless modules in the field of robotics and other remote control applications. It is very easy to use and have a very long range of communication of up to 1 km line of sight. So why did I choose HC12? They are comparatively cheap, they are easily available, they are easy to set up and use, they only need two pins for data transmission, they have a very long range of up to 1 km line of sight. Now we are going to connect them together and transmit data from the remote controller to the receiving unit wirelessly. This is how I assemble all the components on the breadboard. Here I have a joystick, an accelerometer, a Dino Nano and the wireless module HC12. Simply download the code using the download link below and upload it to your controller. Basically what this code do is, it will start a software serial connection at pin 10 and 11 where we connect the TX and RX pins of HC12 wireless module. Arduino will read the analog voltage of the pins A0 to A4 where we connect the input units, the accelerometer and the joystick and store their values in different variables. Then it will create a single long string by combining all the data together which will then be sent to the remote controlled robot. Once you are done uploading, open up the serial monitor. You will see all the sensor data that is being read by the Arduino as a single line separated by commas. This is how our data will be sent to the remote robot. Now it's time to receive the data from the remote controller. In the receiving unit, I used Arduino Nano and another HC12 as a receiver. Simply upload this code and open up the serial monitor. Here what exactly happening is, first we read the data coming from the receiver module to a variable named input. This input is a long string of numbers separated by commas. This string is broken down into smaller numbers and is then stored in separate variables. You can now use these variables to drive your robot the way you want. You will find all the circuits, codes and instructions in the link in the description. I use this remote control for almost all of my robots. I have designed and developed a PCB which helped me to get rid of all the wires. I will give 50 of these ports to my subscribers. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to your YouTube channel and share your thoughts in the comments. In the next video, I will talk about this board and share with you the circuit diagram, PCB files and instructions for you to set this one for yourself. See you soon guys!